Hi, I'm Sandra Davis from Mexico City, and I wonder how can I teach my kids to learn personal revelation in their lives? It's hard for them to listen to mom. How can they listen to the spirit? One thing that I want my kids to know is that everybody's different and mm -hmm. God speaks to everybody a little bit different. Sometimes we, we use certain phrases with, within the church, like uh, the still small voice or a burning in the bosom. And there's a sense like, oh, if I don't hear a voice uh, in my ears or if I don't like feel something in my chest, I must not be feeling the spirit. So I want them to think about different ways that, that God might speak to them. Uh, so I think, you know, Paul talks about the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, understanding. I personally love what, what Alma says in Alma chapter 32, verse 28. Uh, when, when he talks about it, he says that it'll begin to enlarge my soul, to enlighten my understanding, to be delicious to me. So I, I think part of it, especially as the kids get a little bit older, to say like, hey, you've got to figure out how does God speak to you? Mm -hmm. And here's a lot of different ways the scriptures talk about it, but you've got to figure that out for itself. But it's going to be along the lines of love and joy and peace. It's going to be something positive in your life. Something that I've learned from my wife, especially when it comes to teaching kids, is oftentimes they are experiencing the, the spirit or they feel something, but they don't recognize where it's coming from. For example, if one of my children comes home and tells a story and says, oh, I helped out this friend at school and it felt really good. Mm -hmm. My wife will say, that's the spirit. And then that way my kids can recognize when they're feeling the spirit in those moments that they're, they're all good feelings, but there is power in learning to connect those feelings with heaven. Yeah, and to be able to name it. That's right. At the beginning of my conversion process, I did not recognize mm -hmm. it. It was very hard for me to tell, and I had no idea if this was what it was supposed to be. Is this coming from God or is this not? So as time moved on, I learned and was able to realize, okay, this was definitely something from God. And it's different on, depending on the day and the time. I think it just, there are days and times when it just strikes and you can feel it. But I agree that it's a very slow process learning how to recognize that. And sometimes I feel like I'm just going through the motions and going through and, and then I'll have a moment where I look back and I'm able to connect those dots. I see, oh no, that was a moment where I received revelation and I'm able to make those connections. Mm -hmm.